Hi folks, I don't have time to do full videos on these two topics today, but they're really important and I just wanted to make a quick video drawing your attention towards these topics. I will link you to articles that are important in the description box in case you do want to learn more, but I've got good news and bad news today and we'll start with the bad news and then we'll end on a positive note. So when it comes to the United States' case against Julian Assange, originally they lost their case at the beginning of the year to extradite Julian Assange to the U.S., the Biden administration has appealed and they just won their appeal. So I will uh, put a Reuters article in the description box. Please read that in its entirety. This is a really important case. So regardless of how you feel about Julian Assange or WikiLeaks, this isn't about him. This is about freedom of the press, the First Amendment in the United States. And in the event the United States is actually successful at prosecuting uh, Julian Assange, this sets a terrible precedent for journalism. It's just it's it's awful. So do not sleep on this story. It is really important to pay attention to this. Uh, shifting gears now to the good news. Shama Sawant has claimed victory in her recall campaign. Not all of the votes have been counted yet. At the time I filmed this, I don't know that it's been officially called, but it looks very likely that she is going to to win. Uh, she pulled ahead. It was really neck and neck. I was watching uh, on edge throughout the course of the last couple of days, but she pulled ahead and at the rate it's going, she's going to win. So I think it is safe to say that she has won. She declared victory and rightfully so. Uh, now, just to put things into context for you, they have been trying to go after her for years. And when I say they, I mean business interests. So they uh, tried to defeat her when she was running for re-election. Amazon poured money into her opponent's campaign to defeat her. This is the second recall effort that she has successfully defeated. And this is incredibly important. This really shows that if you were organized, if you mobilize people in your area, you can do wonderful things. And there's a reason why big business and money and interest are coming after Shama Swan. It's because as a councilwoman, she is incredibly successful. She has gotten a lot of things done. She single-handedly helped them pass a $15 an hour minimum wage years before anyone else. So she's really creating a blueprint that future lawmakers around the country who are left-leaning should follow. So again, story to that linked in the description box. I wish I could do a full, uh, you know, breakdown of these topics, but unfortunately I cannot do that today. Otherwise, have a great Friday, folks. I will see you next week. We'll keep uploading videos uh, over the course of the weekend. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.